Well, hi everybody, and today what we're going to try and do is get the inverter finally connected up. Um, a lot of the work is already done, you've seen some of that, and um, I've just got four cables to connect up to the batteries and then just finish off the inside work with the plugging the fuses in and connecting up all the bits and pieces. So, here we go. I'm going to get into the battery box, take those out, connect up those um, cables. Two for the, for the inverter, that's one onto the live terminal of the first battery and the black cable which will go on to the negative terminal of the second battery and I'm going to do the same with the um, fuse box wires which are already run down there as well so I'm going to crimp those off with some connectors and then plug them on to the batteries down there so let's get on with it Now, as you know, I have to take the batteries out of here um, and get those cables connected up. But you can see the cables are, in fact, uh, already run. So these are the two. These are the two cables that are going to go up to the fuse box. I've got the live and the return path, or negative, or earth cable. This one will go on this battery, and this one will go on the other battery onto the negative terminal there. I've got the same sort of wires for the inverter. But you'll notice the inverter wires are so much thicker. These have got to be terminated with a little um, thing like this. But uh, they're so much thicker, aren't they? And that's because they take a lot more current. So let's get on with that. So first of all, I'm gonna crimp off these two um, ends with the uh, correct uh, connectors. get access to them I'll use these boxes to just let rest the batteries on because all the cables get a bit short if they go right down on the ground the van and uh, as well as regular viewers uh, and maybe you will know uh, I've installed the uh, inverter underneath this seat here um, I've got a remote control and as you can see the power light is on so the inverter is actually running right now I'm going to disconnect this and run the um, I'm just going to sort of velcro that up to there and run that cable behind the seat there but you will be pleased to know that this little baby is actually charging up on 230 volts um, so there you go you can see the, the little charging light there unplug that goes off plug it in and what I'm really interested to know is what is the power drain 
on the batteries when I've got that inverter running okay it's got a tiny little draw on it at the moment and I think but while the inverter's running I've got it switched on now let's just take you back up to the little control panel here and we've got nothing else we've got no lights on no water I'm gonna turn all the lights off and just have the power on and what I can see on there is a um, a 0.4 amp draw from just the inverter so that's um, well that's a well, just over a, a third or just less than a half of an amp hour to have the inverter switched on um, so if I had the inverter switched on for an hour I'd lose half an hour or thereabouts of power from the battery um, which I think is not too bad um, the next thing is to try the um, microwave and then to finish off connecting up the 12 volt sockets which I'm going to do now so that's the inverter in and working I've got the uh, there's the remote control just fitted up there cabling run down and into the under sofa cupboard area um, I've also wired up a fuse box and a common earth bus bar and I've got one of the power outlets already working so I've got my battery charger my camera battery charger down here and that's working let's just bring you over and show you how that is all fitted in in here it's all it's all still work in progress so you might see a little bit of a few bits and pieces um, of <laughs> extra bits around that I've sort of cut off and that's the that uh, is the wire to run to the um, accessory ports so the USB and the 12 volt outlet um, that's rubbish this is the fuse box cover which I haven't put back on yet so I'm just going to put that just drop that on there so it'll look a bit tidier but here it is in its uh, all in its <laughs> raw state so you'll see that um, We've got the common bus uh, earth bar there with the earth cable going back to the battery and we've got the first accessory port wire so that's a 12 volt outlet there and that's going back to earth there and we've got this live cable oh hmm, that hasn't worked well has it so that will need um, re-crimping onto there I'm not sure Oh, no, I'm thinking maybe I didn't crimp that on. So let me just do that now. Show you the wiring on there now. So that's that's that. Maybe that wire could be a bit shorter. Um, but that's connected to those ports down there. So you can see we've got a USB port here and a 12 volt outlet there and that is connected there and that's working rather nicely so my battery uh, my camera batteries can just sit down there all the time now and just connect and I, I'm just going to wire up my USB ports so I've got a couple of um, extra ports down there So that's pretty much it um, I'm just going to show you the um, how it how it's all working so what we've got is we've got the what the cable coming in from the battery and that passes through a 60 amp fuse and just goes back out to the battery onto the positive terminal as I've shown you earlier and then this uh, black wire comes in from the negative terminal on the battery and what we do then is we just connect up the fuses 
so each, each of these spade connectors will be live when we've got a fuse in so um, when we want another accessory port like this one what I'll be doing is doing the same wiring as this and just running a wire to there and over to the common bus bar up there and then that will make the USB live so that's pretty much all there is to it so from that fuse box um, theoretically I can run uh, that cable that we have this uh, this this cable the the little thin accessory wire like that I can run uh, a black and a red to anywhere in the van and then back to here connect it up to the fuse box and to the common earth bus bar and that'll then make that live so essentially you know I can I can run you know 12 volt outlet ports anywhere of course the more you run the more you're going to use and the, the you know the more well the quicker you're going to deplete the battery power so that might um, push me into getting another solar panel and a charge controller um, or do like the our next door neighbors actually while we're here on this rally have uh, a portable solar panel and let me just show you that out here that's it there um, so they use that and they just move it around to sort of face the sun and then they just connect that to the positive on the first battery the negative on the um, second battery and that just charges both and that comes with its own built-in charge controller so quite a neat little solution I think anyway that's it from me today all that's left for me to do is to connect that other port up and then have a tidy up. But I hope you enjoyed that, um, especially since um, the video's round the right way today. Now I know a lot of you have said you don't like the vertical and don't worry, um, I'm not going completely vertical. Um, what I'm doing is I'm recording other videos for Instagram IGTV so if you want to follow us on both channels IGTV and on YouTube pop over to Instagram and look up happy traveler happy travelers underscore stories and you'll find us happy travelers on Instagram anyway we'll see you again tomorrow and uh, if you've liked this give us a thumbs up and don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet please do Bye-bye for now.